Signal processing systems are classified based on their mathematical properties. The two most important properties are linearity and time invariance. If a system is both linear and time invariant, it is called a linear time invariant system, sometimes referred to just by the acronym LTI. Such systems have beneficial mathematical properties that make the analysis and design of such systems very straightforward. A system is considered to be linear if a linear combination of inputs fed into the system yields the same as the linear combination of outputs. So on the left hand side we have a linear combination of outputs. By the way there's a little mistake there. The C1 associated with X2 should be C2. And on the right hand side we have the same linear combination of two inputs X1 and X2 fed into the system. In this case C1 and C2 are arbitrary constants. So that is the test of linearity. Here's the test of linearity shown as a diagram. The system diagram shown above and the system diagram shown below should be equivalent. This means that y1 should be equal to y2 for all possible values of x1, x2, c1 and c2. In order for a system to be linear and time invariant, the system also needs to be time invariant. Let's first define a time shift system. A time shift system will be denoted with D. If we feed input X into a time shift system, the input signal will be shifted in time by a constant tau. Okay, so now for the formal definition of time invariance. Time invariance implies that we can apply a time shift before or after feeding a signal into a system T and get the same result. Here is the test of time invariance shown in diagram form. In order for the system to be time invariant, y1 should equal y2 for all possible values of the time shift tau and input signal x of t. If a system is both linear and time invariant, it is a linear time invariant system. Most of the systems that we will be discussing during this course are linear time invariant systems. We will later on see that these types of systems can be very easily analyzed using a spectral decomposition of signals. We'll also see that a linear time invariant system can be completely characterized by something called an impulse response, which is the output of a system when using a unit impulse as an input signal. Okay, that's it for now.